It's interesting, when uh, Professor Dawkins ran the um, bus campaign in London, I think it was about two, three years ago, the big sign that says, there is probably no God, therefore relax and enjoy life. Yeah. And I love the fact that they put the word probably in there because yeah. it actually reinforces what we're saying here today. Yeah. Yeah. So on the basis of that then, they're re really, actually, you're not an atheist, you're an agnostic. Because you, you, you say, well, I don't know that there definitely isn't a God, so that means there could be one which means you're well, actually an agnostic, not an atheist. On that definition, so is Des. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, but, I, I mean, I think, I think the, the evidence is pretty convincing. Like, like Rich, Richard Dawkins says, on a scale of 1 to 7, he'd be a 6 for yep. not believing in God, and I'd be about the same. So, Whereas Des is probably a 1 or a 2 or something, or so, a 3. So just getting probably a, little bit of, a, two. a 2. A 2. <laughs> getting a little bit of backstory, what brought you to... I'd like to know from both of you what brought you to your current... Uh, position? position yeah. uh, well, I suppose I was brought up in a particular family that had a, a Catholic background and I got absorbed into that uh, belief system and all that's associated with that, the community life, etc., which then eventually led me into the Catholic priesthood. I was there for a while, then I resigned, got married and the story of my life is from priest to professor, and um, that's the way it has been. Um, but at the same time, you must go back and question with reason um, what you believe in. And certainly, in all religions, there are negative aspects. Yep. Yes. And I think we need to understand that and realise it.